Today, I'm going to show you three easy and inexpensive lighting setups that you can emulate or straight up steal. Right now, Jessica and I are living at her sister's house. We drove up in the van so we could only take so much stuff and I ended up having to leave a lot of my lighting equipment behind. So I've been spending the past couple of weeks trying to figure out how to cope with the loss and luckily, after a few failed attempts, I have kind of figured out that keeping it simple is actually the easiest thing. And lucky for me, there are a ton of free resources around this house for me to easily tap into. Windows. Now, before we really dive into it, here are just a couple of things to keep in mind when you're looking for a place to film. First, your background. Find a window that's in a room that isn't a total mess. If you're filming in your bedroom, make your bed. If you're filming in the kitchen, clear off the countertop. And maybe you've got some really fun accent wall that's a great color in your house that you can film in front of. And having a little bit of color contrast from the light that's coming in in front of you and the light that's behind you is gonna make your video really pop. Just always remember that the light in front of your face should always be brighter than the light behind you. Otherwise, you're gonna be really difficult to see. And that doesn't make for a pretty picture either. Here in the kitchen, I've got two windows in front of me to either side, and then I've got those awesome three pendant lights in the background, and I've got the cabinet lighting. This is the easiest possible setup that I found here because I don't have to add anything to it. I just stick my tripod in the corner and I'm ready to go. Now there are shades on both of these windows, so I'm gonna pull one of these window shades down to give my face just a little bit more definition. There's certain times of day though, where the sun hits this window in just such a way that it makes the light way too harsh, even with the shade down. So when that happens, I film in the living room. So I've got another big window right here. And then I've also got the benefit of the fireplace behind me as another source of light. And also it just adds some nice visual interest. And I placed one more lamp right back here just to throw some more light on the wall, just to balance the scene out a little bit. So I could just leave this scene exactly the way it is, but for about $20, I could throw in a five in one reflector and that's just gonna fill in some of these shadows and add just a little bit more light and balance to the scene. Now I don't have a light stand right now, so I'm literally just gonna hang it from this bendy arm thing that I got at the camera shop that I've just got clamped to a chair. You can pick up a simple light stand on Amazon for cheap though. So if you're not in a situation where you're invading someone else's home and you have plenty of space, I would totally recommend picking up a set like this. And I'm literally just gonna hang it right here from this little loop. The last setup is in our bedroom because, well, there are five people living in this house and a lot of times I can't shoot downstairs in common areas. I've got a nice big light right here, which is awesome, but uh, the setup still looks a little bit drab, so why don't we throw some light on the wall back there? Now you could totally do this with a regular lamp too, but I just got a set of these really cool RGB lamps for Christmas and I kind of just want to play with them. Now, just like before, I have the light behind me set up to a natural warm light, but you can get crazy and creative and use all sorts of fun colors. And the cool thing about these little Aperture F7 mini lights is that they can do pretty much any color of the rainbow and they do lots of fun special effects too. Well, every man's entitled to a night off. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little off track there. So there you go. Three simple, potentially free lighting solutions that you can do right here in your own home. So if you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. And I've actually got a question for you. Where do you plan on filming your next video now that you have this new lighting knowledge? Lastly, don't forget everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below in the description. And that is all I have for you today. So I will see you in the next episode.